Hello, 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 my friend. Uh, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Dr. Chinady. Welcome to Bible Study with Dr. Chinady. And we're going to just be uh, briefly dissecting just actually one scripture in Isaiah chapter 30, verse 15. Uh, I want to talk to you a little bit about um, how to come back home. Have you ever heard of the terminology uh, backslidden? Uh, what you call a backslidden Christian or just backslidden, meaning that where you once were, you no longer are there. Uh, that's kind of the general term of the meaning, backslidden. And I think sometimes in our faith, um, whether we meaning fully, I don't know if I'm saying that, if that's actually a word, whether we mean to do it or it just happens because of some poor choices that we made, or maybe we just didn't make the right decisions, or maybe we just were disobedient, we backslide. That means we're no longer where we used to be. And I believe in Isaiah chapter 30, verse 15, God get, gives us a remedy. If you find yourself um, not really um, in the place where you felt like you used to be, you probably have backslidden. Um, and also, if you don't see that you're growing, and there's no such thing as being stagnant. You're either growing or you're backsliding. That means moving backwards. So, but God has given us a remedy. Actually, in the same passage of Isaiah chapter 30, verse 15, is another passage in Revelation where God tells us to return to our first love, which is a Him. And how do we do that? By doing the first things that we used to do. So question to ask ourselves, if we find ourselves no longer where we used to be, we should ask ourselves, what did what are we doing now? What are we doing different? You know, the answer lies in we probably are no longer doing the things that we used to do. Uh, in the book of Revelations, God says, return back to me, return to thy first love, return to thy first works. So I basically gave you the answer to the question, how do I come back home from a backslidden state, meaning where I used to be, where I felt like I used to be with the Lord. Uh, I'm no longer there. How do I get back? You return. So, but let's read the scripture. Isaiah chapter 30, verse 15. It says, but it's talking to people who are in rebellion, who are, have walked in, in disobedience. And let me say this. When we read a lot of times in the Old Testament, there's this cycle. Uh, ch the children of Israel, they go on this rebelliousness they, they they adopt idols that are not god they they replace god the only true god with an idol and then they cry out to the lord because because the idol has now led them into captivity have led them into bondage has led them into some kind of consequence and then they cry and then god sends them a deliverer help kind of what we do we get in trouble we make bad decisions and we get into trouble because of those decisions and we're stuck we cry out to the lord and he so merciful and he brings us help so it's the same thing. But here there is uh, obviously a disobedience and this is where we find ourselves. Isaiah chapter 30, verse 15 is telling us how to get back on track. And that's what this is all about, getting back on track. Verse 15 says, For thus say the Lord God, the Holy One of Israel, this is his remedy, he says, In returning and rest shall ye be saved in quietness and in confidence shall be your strength and you would not so it's saying okay this is the remedy this is what you need to do but you're not doing it what is the key he says thus say the lord and returning like go back like go back to your first works like book of revelation tells us go back to the things that you used to do that brought you joy that brought you peace the the personal time with the lord the prayer time the witnessing the things that you used to do that brought you closer to the lord and let me say this is not there's not like an actions or things or deeds that get you close to the Lord. It's always about a heart posture. Why are you doing those things? Because we know that many people go to church, they they may not even know God. So it's all about your heart. Your heart has moved away from the Lord. That's what this is really about. He said, return to me with all your heart. God says, if we come to him with all of our hearts, we will find him when we seek him with all of our hearts. So saying that he says, return and returning and rest shall ye be saved. And it goes on to say, in quietness 
and in confidence shall be your strength. So it's saying, when you return to me, you're going to find rest. And that's going to equal to your salvation. Your salvation means your deliverance. And then the second part of that verse, it says, in quietness and in confidence shall be your strength. In quietness is saying, just get quiet. Get quiet in front of the Lord. Get quiet in doing all the things that you're doing, your own energy, your own strength. Get quiet. Stop it. Calm down. Stop doing it all by your own. Stop doing it in your own strength. And then put your confidence. It says in quietness, get quiet. And in confidence, confidence in who? In the Lord. Confidence shall be your strength. That's where your power lies. It's not in your actions and in, in your own ability. It is in confidence in the Lord. And that is going to be your strength. To me, this just tells you the remedy for when we move away from the Lord. He's saying, come back home. Come back home to me because in, in what? In returning, when you return, you will have rest and that will equal your salvation, your deliverance. You will be delivered, saved. That's what that means. And in returning and in quietness and confidence will be your strength. To me, this, this, this verse is so jam-packed. I want you to go take time and, and just meditate on the scripture, read it over and over as the Lord to speak to you, because I really believe this is the remedy for the backslidden believer, the backslidden Christian who feel like they're no longer, then they are no longer where they used to be with the Lord. God said, return to me with all your heart and you will find me. So let's return. Do the first works. Go back to the things that you used to do. Do not put any more idols above God. Put God in his rightful position, his rightful place in your life and in your heart, and you will see yourself be delivered, be saved, and you will find peace, you will find rest, you will find joy and strength, all of those things. Just return back home, return to him. And all of the things that the enemy promises us, he can't deliver it, he can't. He's come to steal, kill, and to destroy, but God has come that we may have life and that we may have it more abundantly. Don't be deceived, the devil is a liar. Don't think, what the enemy has for you, that the grass is green on the other side of not believing God, the other side of disobedience, the other side of doing your own thing. No, it's all going to be wasted time, wasted effort. It'll be a life of emptiness. So come back to the Lord, return to the Lord. Don't be a backslidden Christian. And and some of us, a lot of times we walk away from the Lord, not, uh, you know, that we plan to, but how does the frog dies in the lukewarm water? You put him in the lukewarm water, he doesn't know that he's getting boiled until he gets boiled and he dies. Similarly, it has to do with the little things. It's a, it's a song that says, it's a, it's a small fate, I think the song, when you give yourself away, it's, a, it's little things that grow, and they grow, they grow before you know, you find yourself where you, did, you didn't think you would get there because of the little things that you didn't take care of that added to the big things. And before you know, you are far away from the Lord. You didn't mean to. You didn't decide it overnight. It just happened. It's a slow fade. Don't be caught unawares. Don't be deceived. The Bible says, whatsoever man so that shall he also reap. Let's sow into our spiritual walk and our spiritual life, into our relationship with the Lord. Let's make it a priority. Let's sow. Let's make time for it. Let's put it as a priority and watch God do miracle things, miraculous things in our lives. I want to encourage you today, go back to read, go back and read Isaiah chapter 30, verse 15. And also uh, Book of Revelation, I want to say chapter one, I'll probably post it here. Uh, just return to your first love. You will have a fulfilled life when you do that, when I do that. So till next time.